Hey, everybody. We are here on a Friday, my friend Snape and I. This guy has been cruising around the schoolhouse, like hiding in different places. And I have to say, he came in my office last night and startled me when I walked in this morning. So I thought, well, if he needed to be in here so bad, he can help me do this video. So he's not just going to hang out. He's got something to do. Uh, we have some new information coming out um, that we've talked about already. Um, there will be more movement for students in trimester three. Um, same bell schedule, all of that, as I've mentioned before. And really important, uh, that teacher access time will continue. So from 2.45 until 3.10. Uh, make sure, again, you're checking in uh, throughout the week as you have work at home time uh, upcoming. This is a four day weekend for um, many of you as you don't have Friday, regular Saturday, Sunday, and then you also don't have school on Monday. There will be no shift. So next week, the Tuesday, Thursday kids get to have two days and the Monday, Wednesday kids only get Wednesday. So um, there is no shift uh, to the Friday. Uh, of next week. Spring break is the week after that from the 22nd to the 26th. And then right when we get back, will be boys basketball as well as track. So you need to have a current physical on file at the front office. You can go to our website and sign up for that under the athletics tab um, from our website. And also if you need more printed information, uh, we have that outside of the office. Uh, in the holders with paperwork or just ask in the office and they'll be happy to help you out. As I've mentioned before, March 18th is the evening uh, for our virtual parent meeting at the high school. That will be at 6 p.m. Uh, they have contacted folks already, I believe, and your eighth graders are uh, working with Mrs. Sage and Miss Yank to fill out their elective forms. Hopefully you've been talking about that. Um, and they've been learning about graduation and what they need to do for all that. So that's all really great stuff that those ladies have been working on. Um, again, make sure you mark on your calendar for the 18th at 6 p.m. for that. Uh, some other information um, that we have is that we, we still have uh, forecasting going for the current sixth graders as well as the current seventh graders. And that information will be due to Mrs. Coughlin by... March 18th. So again, next week, March 18th is the day to have all of that information in. The seventh graders will be working uh, this next week to pick some of those courses. Should be talking to parents about that. And also, uh, Ms. Ms. Coughlin has been talking to the sixth graders this week about getting their elective sheets in. So they have all been um, discussed and they should know what's happening with that. You can actually, if you lost the paperwork or you would like to do this online, we have that option um, via our website. So you're going to click on at the top of our website, tillamookjrhigh.com, latest news, and then there's a drop down menu that says student news. And if you hover over that, the electives piece will pop up. When you hit that, it will show you the descriptors of all the electives that we have available, as well as a Google form that you can actually turn in to Ms. Coughlin electronically. So again, latest news, student news, hover on that. The electives will pop up. You can find out which courses you want to take and sign up for them via the Google. So that's great. Off and running. Speaking of off and running, we have our cross-country kids are going to compete in the Ultimook tomorrow, the 13th, up at the Hydrangea Ranch up the Kilchis River. It's beautiful. Um, there will not be able to have spectators there based upon our county metrics, but here are the kids that are going to participate in that. So we're very excited for them. We're also excited to have football happening this last week. Uh, the the Scapoosers came down and we um, played them. And so that was good in the sunshine. It's really great to have uh, athletics going on around here. So uh, we will continue to do that um, safely and well. Again, after um, spring break is when we have, again, boys basketball and track coming up. So I hope all is well. I'm going to keep my eye on this. Oop, keep my eye on this fella and uh, hope you have an amazing weekend.